Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking database using Microsoft Access. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we have to create a schema. Now a schema is just a visual representation of your database. You can see here in this simple example, we have three tables. We have a customer table, which will contain information about each customer, a product table, which will contain information about every product, and then a linking table, which is the order table, which connects the customer table and the product table together. To create a schema, you need to have the table names, the fields, primary keys, foreign keys, relationships, and relationship types. In this case, uh, we are using the one to many relationship type where one customer can buy multiple products in the order table. So once we've created the schema, we then need to move on to create the data dictionary. So to create the data dictionary, this is basically data about data within your database. So you have to list all your fields down within your database. So for example, you have things like customer ID, first name, surname, customer phone number, customer address, customer state examples. So once you have all those things, then you have to go and list other important elements like the field size, the data type, the data format, and then also the description. So you can see here for the customer ID, the example is CUS001. So therefore the field size is going to be six. The data type we are going to use is text because it's a mixture of numbers and letters. And then the data format is CUS hash hash hash. You can see some other data format examples for phone number where it's got a bunch of hashes, then a dash, etc. So once you've completed the data dictionary, you then have to create the actual database. So once we get into Microsoft Access, we need to create a new table and this is going to be our customer table. Now all this information comes from the data dictionary and you can see that for our customer ID, we have to restrict our field size to six and we also have to make sure that we put in our import mask, which is going to be CUS in quotations and then hash 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 for 001. Once you've done that, then you need to add everything else. So the phone number needs to be, needs to have an import mask of those four, four hashes and then dash and then etc. So you just have to slowly start to fill up all of your lists. When you get down to the state field, you will have to create a drop down menu. And you can see here that now I have all the states in a nice drop down menu. So that's in the lookup section within your uh, database. Once you have created the customer table, you then need to do the same thing and repeat the same process for the product table. So product ID, field size of six, and the input mask will be PRO, hash, hash, hash. Product cost, we're gonna change that to currency and I want that in two decimal places. And then the units in stock is going to be a number, a whole number, so an example would be 10. So you can see here that we that Microsoft Access is now doing all of the currency stuff for those currency fields. We then move to our linking table, which is going to be our order table. Now again, order table, we're gonna have our you know input mask for our format for our order table. And then we just have to put in all of our other fields. The paid field is going to be a yes or no field. So it's either they have paid or they haven't paid. Now the most important thing with the linking table is to make sure that the customer ID and the product ID of the other tables are exactly the same in that linking table. So once we've done that, we then need to create the relationships. And if you've done this all correctly, then you will be able to drag the product ID to the product ID in the linking table and make sure you enforce referential integrity. If you cannot click that button, it means you've done something wrong. So now we just have to populate our database. So just go through our table and I'm only putting in three records here and make sure that however many records you go down is however many you actually put together within your order table. So for example, you can't put in customer ID 124 because you haven't actually done that. So make sure that the customers actually exist and it's the same in the customer table. So once you've populated your database and everything is working fine, we'll then move on to the queries. 
Now to create a, a simple query, all we need to do is just go to create query design, add some fields, and all we are going to do is search for the first name of Peter. Now when you click run, you can see that Peter comes up and I'm just gonna save that as a search for Peter. The final thing that we need to do for our very simple database is to create a form and a report. So to create a form, you just go to create forms and we're gonna do it off the products table. And I've also put some, uh, some sum values in here so it calculates the total cost. And then once we've done that, we're pretty much finished. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to create a very simple database in Microsoft Access. I'll see you guys next time.